Why, hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Back to Basics. Here we are in our little house, obviously, once again. Uh, as I said at the end of last episode, we are going to go out and go exploring again. Uh, just let me double check my inventory, make sure we have everything we need for our adventure. It, it does look like we do. I mean, there's not really much else that I can think we need, but we'll probably run into something we do need later on. I'm not too worried about it though. I think we'll survive. Actually, we're going to need to use all these. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table. I'm going to leave it down by the water because I got a feeling we're going to be doing this quite a few times. But uh, we'll make ourselves a boat, even though it probably will break very quickly. Uh, I kind of want to go to the left today and go see if we can't find a cave or some other cool structures. Uh, we'll see how far back this water will take us. Uh, yeah, and we'll just follow this around. We'll keep our eyes peeled for anything new and exciting. Uh, like... That squid, get out of here. We're going to go up to that cave right there. I can see it already. That's awesome. Oh, hey, there's a chicken. I don't want to. I don't want I, Like I said, chickens are not my favorite thing in Minecraft, so we're just going to leave him alone. I just, I, I'm, I just, the boats make me so mad, but it's okay. Okay, so there was nothing in this cave. Nice. Nice job. Can we jump this? Hup. Yeah, nice. We use the vines to swing like like Tarzan. Did you see that? Awesome. Okay. Are you serious? There's one right there. <laughs> this is a really productive boat ride, I can tell. Let's go ahead and get out. Oh, come on. See, like that, like two seconds. The boat's gone. It's okay, though. Uh, we'll just have to keep making them, I guess. And we'll take this crafting table with us after we make the boat, obviously. We'll make one boat, even though I'm sure we'll break this one very quickly. Let's go ahead and hop up here. Ooh. We got some naturally flowing water. It does look like there's another opening that might be a little easier, but let's go ahead and jump in this water here. There we go. Let's go ahead and light this area up. Just so that we don't have any bad guys coming to get us without us uh, seeing it coming. We're going to take a look out the other side here. See if we can't see anything pretty cool. That's pretty cool right there. But we will explore ouch, this cave first. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up this coal. We are going to go for a ton of resources. Um, we'll see how far this, this cave takes us. We'll get rid of this water as well. Just dump that and pick it back up. We'll go ahead and place torches like I said so that no creepy guys can get us okay it does not look like there's anything else down here which is okay by me because we saw that other pretty cool hole uh, just over the way here let's go ahead and eat actually you know what? I'll leave the hunger down for now because there's no threats uh, no issues but if, if our if our situation changes and we get a little bit less fortunate then we will definitely go ahead and eat um, let's take some more of this coal like I said it's always good to have coal um, because you're always going to use it. Uh, there, there is a way to obviously have an abundance of it. But it would take a very long time to mine that much coal. Uh, and uh, it's, it's sometimes good to leave just because then you have a way to earn experience. As you can see my experience bar is going up. And uh, when you're enchanting, uh, quick experience is hard to come by unless you're in the nether getting quartz. Uh, which will be covered in another episode of course. Um, let's go ahead and check out this area just real quick. Nothing too difficult. Hello. <gasps> no, we already have this mushroom, correct? We, we wanted the other mushroom. Well, that was... Ah! 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 Oh, first creeper. Okay, so as you can see, creepers explode and they destroy blocks around them. Every single block has a different blast resistance. That is not only uh, for creepers, but it's also for TNT usage. So, um, yeah, be aware that everything has a different blast resistance. That was very, very scary. Um, not okay with it. Oh, I can hear groaning from a skeleton nearby. So we'll definitely leave these torches up just so we don't get mobbed by another mob. Let's go ahead and go up here. Uh, we'll get rid of this and do a little bit of this action. Hup, there we go. There's nothing up here. Where was that zombie? Be quiet, ready. We're going to listen. Did you hear him? Definitely this way, right? We won't go too far with this. I just want to see if we can't run into a tunnel. They'd have to be closer than that, right? 
That was risky. What if he just fell in on our head, right? Okay, so it doesn't look like there's a zombie around here, or at least there is, but we don't know exactly where. We looked for him. I'm not going to spend all of our time searching for a zombie that we may never come across, but it does look like it's getting nighttime. Uh, I really wish we would have found a better cave system than this for our travels, because then we could just stay down in there through the night. But it looks like we may have to create another hidey hole here, because I don't want to have to travel back home right away. Um, let's try one more time to look down here. Nothing really. Wow. Okay. It's okay though. Uh, that looks really cool. That just floating piece of uh, rock over there. Let's go back over here again. And I'm sure I, there was, there had to be a way that I didn't explore, right? Let's go ahead and light this up just in case. Follow the shore over here a little bit. Keep our eyes peeled for something cool. Oh, there's dark wood. Awesome. Uh, I believe it's dark oak, but I'm not for sure. Uh, I think that's what it's called. It's a new it's a new type of tree that's just off there in the distance. Um, we don't have full armor, so that's, that's a good thing to, to remember. Because we are going to be caught here pretty soon. Without shelter or anything like that. And the safest place to be with no shelter is usually water. You can usually avoid a lot of um, bad guys if you're in the water. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get in the boat and try to make it home before before um, before we get too mobbed by the bad guys. And we'll 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 drive right on back here uh, in the morning. And yeah, I'll I'll cut to uh, us getting in the house and if if there's anything bad, and then uh, I'll cut again once we're back out where we were. Okay, so it looks like we have made it home with no bad guys coming to uh, pick on us. Let's go ahead and try to get some sleep. I don't know what's up with this graphic glitch, but no big deal. Uh, sleeping has always been a little bit odd that way. Now let's go ahead and just quick run, run out of the house backwards because you never know what's going to jump on your head. And of course the boat swims away. Okay, like I said, I'll cut back when we're back in the location we, uh, we previously were. Okay, and we are back and on our way back I saw a pretty cool... Uh, hole so we're gonna come on over here and we're gonna take a look like I said this this gen this generation is just all natural It's all random. So something like this is absolutely amazing Like it goes against like so much of the game's coding for uh, for that to happen, but it is something that's been happening since Since day one of Minecraft now there was like a huge hole in the top of this hill and I wanted to take a look at it I'm gonna Get off our dang it. I swear if that breaks when that hits that shore you better not break good See, I said there was a hole up here, but is there anything cool? Let's go ahead and take our torch in here. Light this place up. Oh, we may actually have a cave system here. Please let us have a cave system. We're good on wood. We're good on everything. We, we should be okay to mine. Nice. I'll put one here too. Remember torches, um, they may be costly for some but they're great to overdo you can't you, you can overdo torches but it's very difficult to uh you'd rather be safe and have too many torches than um be caught without any i promise you hear that that's uh, it's a randomly generated noise that happens when you are near a dark location uh, I cannot I don't know the exact dimensions, but it's like it just basically means like you're, you're near somewhere that is dark So like you'll know you're close to a cave that, that is extremely dark if you're tunneling or something like that um, It's very cool that they added that it's very creepy as well. This is huge by the way I, I it's a good thing. We built our compass last episode or else I'd be completely lost on how to get home I'm sure when I get out of these mines, so we're just gonna keep picking up iron. Oh, I love iron Nice. 
I think we're gonna, we're gonna keep going though, um, and try to get to a deeper surface, a, a deeper level, because the deeper the level, the the better odds you have of finding different. Re oh, and here is another mob, a new mob. This is a bat. Bats have more health than quite a lot of uh, of other mobs. I don't know the exact number right now. Um, if you give me a second, I'll cut and I'll tell you guys the uh, the exact uh, heart value. Okay, so I looked it up, and it turns out the bat has three hearts of health, or six ticks of health, um, which is surprising because the chicken only has t two hearts of health, or four ticks, and uh, it's, it's just peculiar because you'd think that something like the bat, that I don't believe drops resources yet, um, would have more health than a uh, something that does drop a resource that is found uh, a lot more commonly. We're just picking up this coal. Oh, hey, and look, iron. We, we we have a coal vein going to an iron vein. That's a very cool. But like I said, we're going to keep adventuring downwards. And in order to do so, we're going to get rid of this water. Um, and sometimes you guys got to remember, in order to, to go down, you got to go back up. So don't be afraid to, like, like, you see an upward path. And don't be afraid to traverse it because, boom, you can find yourself even deeper. Uh, obviously, it's just where that water was, but you, you see my point. Obviously, we're deeper than where we did go up. Uh, we went down that path. Uh, you could, A lot of people mark their way, like they'll put torches always on the right wall, like this. Why are there three Endermen? What? Oh, whoa, whoa. Hello, 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 hello. I didn't even look at you. I didn't even look at you. Okay, so we've run into Endermen, so let me go ahead and, and look up the stats on those guys for you. Okay, so Endermen can pick up random blocks. This is a few few facts about Endermen. They can pick up random blocks uh, around the map. They, they have 20 hearts of health, which is double that of what we have and of what other mobs like skeletons and zombies have. Um, they also teleport randomly. Uh, when once looked at so much no, I don't really want to look at this guy But you can you can not make eye contact and they'll be fine, right? But if you look at them, I promise they'll be mad uh, I'm not gonna show up because I don't want to die out here this guy. There we go Just keep Placing torches. Oh cool. There's another cave system right there through this hole um, Let's go ahead and check this area first though See we can go down here. Hi Hi, 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 hi. Okay, so the reason why I'm very nervous around Endermen is because they are very, very strong. Uh, it says here that they, on easy, will hit for two hearts. On normal, will hit for three and a half hearts. And on hard, will hit for five hearts. That's absolutely ridiculous. That's half of your health gone if you're on hard. Okay, so we keep getting a lot of mobs from over here. So let's... Go ahead and take this nice and slow. See, with skeletons, you want to block off the path between you two because then they can't hit you with arrows. With the zombies, you can do that, but you don't want to find yourself cornered. So you're, you're going to be a lot better off if you um, if you rush a zombie, like like run towards them and confront them alone and pick them off separately. Wow, this is amazing. And this is like, remember, this is like spiraling over what we had just walked through. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything super value in here, valuable in here. So let's go ahead and... Come on back and we'll pick up our torches and then I'll show you a little trick that I like to do. Um, like the torch idea where you put the torches only along the right wall or whatever. Um, but instead, what I like to do is I like to just take the cobble and block this off. And there we go. Now we know that we've been this way. Actually, we can do it right here instead. But now we have know we've been this way and there's nothing important there. So we could just look right past it. So let's go ahead and mine this block. Oh, and it looks like we are almost about a time where I can show you something new. Now... This has been added recently. Um, you can actually put the same tool in your in-game crafting table or crafting bar, yeah, and you will get a repair tool. Now, this adds the durability of both items and adds an additional 5% durability. So if you have 10 and 10, 5% of that is 1. So you'd have 21 durability instead of 20 durability. I believe that math's right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so so obviously you, you're going to want to keep repairing your tools that way and you don't want to just use one up completely uh, when you can when you can easily save it and um, combine it with another one. Something around this corner. Hello, Mr. Creeper. 
Do you think you can sneak up on us? Do you like the light? Do you want a torch? You can have, you can have, no, take the, take the torch. No, no, no. No, 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 Ooh. That was a close one. That was, that was almost too close. Let's be careful coming out here now. There was a skeleton. He's jumped over there. That was too spooky for me. Okay, so we're going to keep our our hunger for... We don't have any more food. Oh, we have one piece of bread, I guess. We need to figure out our food situation. But this is a really good mine. That's really unfortunate. Okay, this is what's going to happen. I'll find my way to the surface. Or we will find our way to the surface. We'll get more food. And hopefully we will survive down in these caves. Uh, if anything, I'll tunnel my way up, uh, and I won't. I won't show it to you guys if that ends up needing to be the situation. Um, but yeah, that, that'll be the uh, the episode for today, you guys. If you enjoyed the episode, please remember to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And um, yeah. I, I know my episodes have been like a little bit shorter lately. Uh, it's because I've been feeling a little bit under the weather. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, but I, I really enjoy doing these episodes for you guys. And I, I love your guys' feedback. So continue to keep that up. You guys are very supportive and very awesome. Thank you once again for uh, watching. See you later.